Let's look at this send email activity in Automation Studio. This activity lets us initiate an email message. So let's click it and then click next. Let's go ahead and choose the email that we created in this course. So I'm going to click this demo email one and click next. And now I'm on the properties section of this email activity and I'm going to name the activity. I'll put an external key if I want to or I can leave it blank. I can put this in a specific folder if I have multiple folders for my email activities but I'll leave it as it is. I'll put a description for this email activity and then we can see the demo of the email activity and if we scroll down we can see the subject which we can actually edit right here and the preheader which we can edit right here and then we have our send classification and then we can click next and then we can choose the targeted audience, the excluded audience, and the suppressed audience. So let's choose the audience that we want to send this to. So I'll click on my shared data extensions. I'll choose my demo extension that I created earlier in this course. And I'll drag this over to the targeted audience. And then I'll click select for my all subscribers list. And if I wanted to exclude or suppress an audience, I'd pull in a data extension here but I don't want to exclude or suppress anybody, so I'll click this X. And then we can CC people and BCC people, and we can do advanced exclusions. But we won't do anything with that, so we'll just click next. And we can set the delivery window from a certain time period, and we can do an hourly threshold for a certain number of sends. And we can choose our tracking options and our tracking destination folder. I'll leave these unchecked, and click next and then we'll review all of the information for this email activity so we can see the properties for the activity the demo email that we're sending our target audience and the delivery information and when we're done we click this checkbox to confirm that this information is correct and this email is ready to send and then we'll click finish and that's how you create an email activity in automation studio